Hi, this is Rita, a mechanical engineer from Saratech, and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Thank you for watching this video, Dimensioning Using Expressions. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how we set up expressions as listed expressions and how we apply them during the dimensioning process of a sketch. So you can use expressions to define and control many dimensions of a model, such as the dimensions of a feature or a sketch. Formulas within expressions can include a combination of variables, functions, numbers, operations, and symbols. You can insert expressions names in the formula strings of other expressions. So here we have a model of a simple screw. I'm going to open up the body sketch here. And we see here we just have a simple sketch of a screw. So right now we have hard coded values defining the entire sketch as you see here. Our goal here is to replace these hard coded values with expressions that define the head width, the head height, the screw length, and the major diameter of the screw body. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to the Tools tab. And under the Utilities group, we have the Expressions function. So if we click that, the Expressions dialog box comes up, and this is where we're going to set our expressions. So under the user defined dropdown here, we have a place to enter the name of the expression as well as the formula. So you can set expressions to values, equations, or functions of other expressions as well. So we're gonna start off here by setting the head width And we're just going to set a value to this expression. And once we have our name and formula, the type of expression, which is a number, the type of dimension, which is a length, and we have a place here to select our units, which are in inches, we can click the green check mark, which accepts these edits here. And we have our very first listed expression right there. So we're going to continue on to the head height. And we're going to set that to a value as well. We're going to accept these edits. And we have the length. And this one, we are going to set this to a function. So we're going to make that equal to 2 times the head width. And finally, the major diameter, which defines the thickness of the shank, and we're set that to a value of 0.56. Now that we have all of our expressions listed and defined here, we're going to click OK. And next we're going to apply these new expressions by using them to define our sketch and dimension all of our geometries of our screw body so that there are no longer any hard-coded values within the sketch. So we're going to open up our body sketch here and we're going to start applying these values. So if we click on our first value, which is the head width, we're going to go to the driving section, drop down to formula, and select our expression that we want to use to define this geometry. So this will be defined by the head width. We click OK. And we can see now that this dimension is defined by an expression. You can do that to the next dimension, the head height. Click OK. And we can see that that geometry adjusts as well. Similarly with the length um, dimension. 
click that, the formula. And remember the length expression was a function of the head width. So it's two times the head width and we'll see that adjustment take place. Set it to the length, click OK. And our length has adjusted. And that's how we use our um, expressions to dimension a sketch. Thanks for watching our tips and tricks tutorial series and hope you found this helpful. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.